so in this video we will see about the six sigma matrices in clinical laboratory or how to use these six sigma matrices to evaluate the performance of your internal quality control as well as how to define the qc frequency to optimize the use of quality control material and to achieve the world class performance as per the six sigma matrices so in this video series first of all we are going to see what is six sigma what are the different methodologies of six sigma what is the importance of six sigma in clinical laboratory how to find out six sigma matrices in clinical laboratory using total allowable error bias and cv percentage what are the operational specification charts qc planning or power function curve to find out the frequency of qc run and to determine the qc planning and finally at the end we will also see how to define target cv percentage for each of the parameter or how to define world class performance using six sigma matrices so first of all let us see what is six sigma six sigma is a quality management methodology used to help businesses improve current processes products or services by discovering and eliminating defects the goal is to streamline quality control in manufacturing or business processes so there is little or no variance throughout six sigma is a discipline data driven approach and methodology for eliminating defects in any process from manufacturing to transactional and from product to service so from this we can see six sigma is a methodology where we have to or we can eliminate the defects we can find out the defects and we can eliminate the defects basically this is a quality management methodology where the aim is to improve the quality so basically once the defects are reduced automatically the quality goes up or the quality improves so as from the definition or as from this slide you can see it is a approach which is basically used in the manufacturing processes or business processes where the main aim is to reduce the variance now if you see to reduce the variance the same concept is used in the clinical laboratory also where we try to reduce the variance that is we try to reduce the variations in the report and we try to produce reproducible and precise report so if the same methodology can be used in the laboratory we can achieve a precise and accurate report by reducing the variance and by reducing the defect and ultimately by to improve the quality this six sigma quality management system works on two methodologies one of them is called as dmac and the other one is called as dmad v so dmac stands for d m a i c that is define measure analyze improve and control whereas demdu stands for d m a d v that means define major analyze design and verify so what are these two different methodologies we will see in detail in the next class and we will also see what are the differences between these two methodologies and when we should use the dmac methodology and when we should use the dimdev methodology this also we will see in the next class so till then keep following for the series on six sigma methodologies for clinical laboratory thank you